I am giving everybody a fair warning as we get into this video because some people get frustrated to me. They, they get frustrated that I get a little loud within my videos. Um, I'm sorry if you're new to the channel and you don't know how loud I can get, but I'm warning you guys now. Okay, I'm riled up. I don't know where this is going. I have no script ready I just have an idea in my head and I talk about it because that's the way I do these type of videos because I feel like a lot of people Enjoy that so if you don't want to hear anybody bitching if you don't want to hear a 24 year old grown man Bitch about Call of Duty because he loves it and wants to be great. You can leave the video right now. Otherwise You can stand up you can grow a pair of nuts hit that like button subscribe the fuck you doing Let's get into this video. So I want to talk about something. As everybody knows, unless you're living under a fucking rock, Call of Duty has gone to Game Pass. Microsoft Game Pass, Xbox Game Pass, whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. I don't have it. But all I know is that is what has been the biggest news within the past few days. And with that, a lot of these PC players are now being seen as Xbox players, I guess. And the cheating, the cheaters, the weirdos that live in their mother and father's basement, or maybe even their grandmother's basement because their parents actually have some knowledge today, kick their ass out, but the grandparents just, you know, they feel terrible about them. Those people are the ones that are just absolutely ruining the game for everybody else. Also, what we're starting to experience is skill-based matchmaking increase out the fucking ass. For every good player because they want to protect these new players that are actually playing legit but fucking suck at the game. They want to protect them from people like me who are going to shoot their bodies because I just feel like doing it. I'm a toxic player. It's never personal, ladies and gentlemen. I just want you guys to understand. If you ever get in a game with me and I shoot your body, never take it personal. Only way you're going to make it personal for me is if you talk shit to me. Other than that, it's all love. It's all game. It's all fun. But going back to the video, they are protecting people with this high intense skill-based matchmaking because they don't want these new players to play the game and all of a sudden leave because they're getting absolutely shit on. The only people that love this increased skill-based matchmaking is these people like Mark of a Hero, X Pro MVZ, all these bum-ass motherfuckers that I will continue to talk about every single day until something changes within either the reverse boosting, skill-based matchmaking, I, I, who the hell knows. Those are the only people that love this increase. But let's start off with the cheaters because everybody knows that this game is infested. This game is unplayable in certain game modes. And what game modes are that? Ranked Warzone, Ranked Play. Both of them. Ranked Multiplayer, Ranked Warzone. They are absolutely unplayable. When you reach a certain rank, even before you reach a certain rank, you are going to encounter a cheater. Because for some reason, God knows, God is the only one that knows why, we are not able to create an anti-cheat that is possible or able to defend against these cheating softwares. I don't understand. It is 2024. We have had many crazy things happen this year. Somehow the Secret Service allows a 20-year-old person to shoot President Donald Trump. Somehow, some way, Joe Biden was forced out of office and people that didn't vote for Kamala Harris are now going to have to vote for her because she's now the nominee. And then we can also talk about how we don't have a great cheating software for a game in 2024, for a game that's been around for 20 plus years. We don't have a cheating software that's good enough to detect. I know they're different ends of the spectrum. All right, I know that we talk about assassination attempts and, 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 and taking a nominee out and putting somebody in that the party wants. And, and then we're talking about a video game. But it's crazy shit that's happening. And guess what? Hey, we have how many more months? We're almost to August. We have plenty more months to go. What else could be crazier? The fuck are we doing, man? Oh my god. But I don't understand why people are, are so excited for this game pass. It has officially ruined Call of Duty. It is unplayable. I play solo a lot. I play with my friends who are as good as me a lot. When I play this game, I have maybe five matches, and after that, I am done. I am worn out because I don't understand why we have to have this in the game. Now, for everybody that's new to the channel and wants to bitch and complain in the comments saying, I don't want to face competition, completely false. Completely false. Do your research. We all know who I'm talking about. Do your research because that's never what the Rick said. I just want to have normal matchmaking. I want no disbanding lobbies. I want to be able to just play based off a of connection, fix these damn servers. I want just a normal game style. If I get shit on, I get fucking shit on. If I get a great lobby, I get a great lobby. But why is it that every game I have to wait five minutes to find a game, every game I'm facing ranked skins, CDL skins, just like me, 
and I have to sweat my ass off every damn time just to go above a 2KD. Why do I have to do that when all these bitches that, for some reason, have to be protected? Why? I never was protected when I started this game. They claimed that they had skill-based matchmaking back in the day in Call of Duty 4. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. I go in one of those games, I press find a match, I'm in a match like that. It doesn't matter. There was no skill-based matchmaking. You're telling me the skill-based matchmaking algorithm was better back then? And they could find a match quicker? Whereas now it's absolute shit 20-something years later, 15, whoever knows, however many years later? That's what you're telling me? I just don't understand. We have hacking, we have skill-based matchmaking, we have a game that's actually very good. The gameplay, the guns, everything within it is actually good. Yet somehow, some way, the people playing the game, or people that are making the game, I should say, have no clue what's going on. They have no clue how to fix it. Activision hasn't spoken a word about these cheating people, these cheating scumbags. They never said a fucking word about it because they don't know how to fix it. Because they have all these people in their company that don't play this game. They have all these people in that company that don't care about the game. They only care about that money. If their profits are going up, which they probably are, that's all they care about. That's a success for them. They don't care if cheaters are ruining rank play. They don't care if cheaters are ruining the entire multiplayer gameplay. They don't care if people are infested with the skill-based matchmaking algorithm in their head and just stop playing because of it. They don't care. They don't care. They've never cared. They never cared in their fucking life because they suck at the game personally. Those devs are terrible at the game. And all they care about is that money increase. I just don't understand it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just sitting here in disbelief. Because every fucking time I get in this game, I have to sweat my complete balls off. I have a bucket. I just washed it this morning. It's outside drying off. I have a bucket to collect the ball sweat based off of how much I fucking sweat in this game. I have two sticks of deodorant I go through every fucking week because I have to reapply every three or four matches. Every time I have to get in this game, I have to redo or get out of my shirt, put a new one on, do three loads of laundry of fucking every two days. It's a joke. It's a joke. This might be a little, you know, eh to you. You really don't care. The fuck you doing? If you truly love the game of Call of Duty, if you truly love the franchise, you realize the decline that's been going on the past five, six, seven years. You would realize it. But a lot of you guys didn't grow up with this shit. A lot of you guys are brand new to this shit. So you really don't care. You say, oh, play a different game. Fuck you talking about. I love this game. I love this franchise. I hate the way it's going. So I'm going to talk shit about it. I'm going to make sure that everybody knows how passionate I'm about it. And I'm going to make sure Activision knows, hey, if I ever get big enough in YouTube, Call of Duty, whatever, if you invite me to a Call of Duty next next event, whatever it is, which they never would, ladies and gentlemen, they don't want the Rick anywhere. Nobody there would want the Rick there. That's okay. They're going to invite all these cheating streamers. That's okay. That's okay. But if I was ever blessed with the opportunity to go there, I would roast the shit out of the game. I would literally go up to every dev and tell them everything that's wrong. If the game's good, I'll say the game's good. You guys know I'm honest about that. I made videos in the past how this game is actually good. I'm saying it again. This game is actually good. But the people that are running the company, the people that are in introducing these algorithms, this bullshit, these shotguns, these riot shields, these thermites, bullshit. That's what pisses me off. That's what I would tell them. But of course, they don't want that to happen. They never want that to happen. They don't want the Rick anywhere near them because they know that I would I would raise some hell. But it's okay. I wouldn't want to go to California or wherever the hell it's at because we all know how California is. The fuck you doing? Not my style, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please hit that like button, subscribe. If you dislike it, dislike it. That's okay. Tell me why in the comments. I don't care as long as you guys just know that I love you no matter what. And I will always be by your side. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next one. The Rick is out. <gasps> Peace.